morning, 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 morning. This is a Monacy broadcast. Code red, code red, hold on, code red, here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and have me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Broadcast. You are listening to Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew-in-law. Here with me is the star of the show, Uncle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is another Friday night, a 341 episode. And here we have... A very interesting, crazy story. Uh oh, <laughs> crazy! It's about to get crazy in here, everybody. Friday night, Ochelli dot com, the Uncle Show. What crazy does a time. what does a a, a a rabbit jump up? Oh, a riddle to to uh, to a uh, a clown do. What does a rabbit jump up to a clown do? Well, I just said sidekick. This is like the riddle of the Sphinx, Uncle. Uh, is it to get to the gathering of the Jugglers, which is happening right now in Ohio, the great state of Ohio? Bing! He hit the jackpot! Really? Wow. Wow, that's a good one, sidekick. You good. figured it out. I did. <laughs> wow. Man, I'm better than I thought, Uncle. I'm, well, I'm happy about that. Oh. Well, we got that riddle out of the way. Uh, yeah, Uncle the Podcast, Friday, Ocelli.com. We're here. Uh, we're taking your calls, uh, 319-527-5016. That number is open. You can call in and join us, or you can use Skype if you have it. If you use Skype, uh, find our producer, Chuck. Type him a message. He's Charles Charles.Ocelli. Type him a message. He will call you. You'll be on the show. Or use your phone and call 319-527-5016. Uncle, should we have callers? I have a first caller out. All right, Dave. Come on out there, Jimmy. <clears throat> I don't know if we have a caller yet, um, but we may. My hell, they call. should be coming out. <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, we have the chat room as well. We're live streaming, not not just the radio live stream on Ochelli.com, but we have YouTube. Yeah, we bouncing have... the balls again. I hear it. Yeah, that's yep. The sound. That's the sound of the Ochelli.com. I saw it bounce the balls. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. The Ochelli.com chat looks like we've got Chuck in there posting quite a bit. I posted a couple things. Random was in there. Face shifters there. But we have YouTube. We have Twitch. We have Trovo. We hey, have Kick. What about that X? We have X. I've seen a lot of that X on this TV today. Oh, it's making For headlines. some reason, that X is absolutely crazy. It's a big PR push, Uncle, is what it is. To be up. Well, they want us to use the platform, and sadly, I am. Uh, it's good for live streaming. I, I got to admit, I have the – I paid for the premium account on the Franz Simulation account. That's what Uncle the Podcast is being beamed through right now. Oh, it is? Uh, I that's, didn't know I even was on that big so, thing. So yeah, we are live. There. So we're live on X right now then. Yes. Oh, yes, excellent. we are. Uh, I reposted, so it goes through my Twitter, the Aaron Franz one. I reposted it on the Uncle Podcast uh, X account, and anybody else, anybody who's listening, we're... yeah, anybody who's listening, please feel free to retweet Aaron's link for Uncle as it broadcasts live, because yes. uh, there it is, live on air and talk, taking your calls, big old. Excuse me, thumbnail on the thing before you start it on uh, Uncle the Podcast there on the Aaron Franz, fr at Franz Simulation, uh, is the uh, Twitter handle, and I am going to retweet it right now. Uh, so there we go. I repost. You guys repost. You never know how many people will listen because, guess what? This is the same platform that Elon Musk, the owner of the platform, just just recently interviewed Donald Trump on. So therefore, big new attention to the X platform. Oh, he there you did. Go. He did. That's that was a good attention. I bit of attention. That's what yeah. I saw. Yeah. I saw that though. I that, did see that. I think that's what you're talking about, Uncle. That was uh, a big news story. Yeah. That's a big story. That's what I heard. I saw. The world. I, I mean, saw, not said. 
the world's greatest and most charismatic interviewer, Elon Musk, interviewed the most – the greatest president ever, better than Lincoln, better than Washington, Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, so it had to be great. It had to be great. This – this – this – uh What's his name? He didn't do anything with these cars. Oh, you're talking about Elon. Elon Musk. You're talking about Elon Musk and his company Twitter, or not uh, Tesla. Tesla, the auto company. He He's not companies. doing a thing about it. You don't like uh, Teslas, huh? Well, I still can't figure out how he does it with the batteries, and how does it get? How does it get from here to a kind to a? a Point A to point B. Uh, yeah, point A to point B. What a car but, is supposed to do. What? Yeah, but with the battery. It doesn't matter. How really does do works on a battery, and he still can't figure that that's out. That's how bad a Tesla is. I it mean, doesn't that's do bad. That. Talking about that. Mm-hmm. Well, they name they have to have them out in the malls. They have to have them in their shop area. You're talking about where, chargers? Yeah, yes. That's it. The chargers. Well, I mean, boy, <laughs> if they go out. How often will a car go all the way out to take how much speed? Now, not talking gas, talking electric. How much actually driving can it do for, let's say, for example, a trip? Now, I'm still trying to figure that so out. So you're talking about the range of EVs? Right, 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 right. The you're, you're, so your whole question about EVs, EVs and Teslas is what is the range? Range, right, right. Well, you sound a lot like Donald Trump. He has he echoes a lot of the same concerns about what? Uh, yeah, well, it, it's funny. That idiot. Yes, you, you're a little bit I, – I hate to say this, Uncle, but you're a little bit in line with his concerns – over EVs, because before Elon was his best buddy in the world, he was just railing against EVs and they're terrible and gas is the only thing that we could ever use to power a car, and you know the whole like a- a- anything bad you could see say about. I've had car, that thought saying. before he even was mentioned it to him a long back long time ago before he even was represented. <laughs> that dumb nut. Well, he sh- what are you he, talking about? He I was way ahead of him. He he didn't uh, he he didn't cite you, Uncle. He should have. I'm, what? Uh, Trump should have cited you when he was complaining <laughs> about the EVs. He should he have been didn't. like, I was listening to Uncle the podcast. He was talking about uh, EVs, and this is what I learned about it. But he never did do that. It's unfortunate. I said it ahead of him, though. If you if you remembered, mm-hmm. if you remembered, I'm trying to. When I was talking to him. Before him, uh-huh. and was talking about well, how are we going to do that with the with the uh, electric? And he still, from this day, he still doesn't know how. With the battery problem, how are we going to go from B one to B <laughs> two? I mean, I've been asking that in my head. I haven't had an answer, or he hadn't had a. A question to tell me. So you're kind of talking about like the question of you want to drive across the country. Say right. we're in California and the West Coast. We want to drive to New York City. Yeah, for example. How do we make it there in an electric vehicle without getting stuck in the middle of middle America somewhere, like in Colorado or whatever? That's my point. So I kick you finally getting it in the head there. That's what I was trying to get through his head. Uh-huh. How do you do it? Boy, that's a good that's question. the question I asked. Uh huh. That's the question I was trying to understand. Take that, and, Musk. Yeah, take that, Musk. You oh. know, you know. Uncle, yeah. Uncle, we have creative accidents on Twitch in the chat. He's got a question. What? He's asking, how are we going from B one to B two? That's the question I'm trying to figure out. I know. I mean, oh well, this was back in the time when these are just starting out. You understand? I was just telling him before this started, and he was thinking of doing it. I was I'm back bad. when Elon was was just getting into the EV In, market. Ending market. Tesla not, was just starting. Tesla just started. I was at that point. Not not 
now, now, uh, uh, it's go home, charge your car, <clears throat> or go to the mall, charge your car. Things have changed. Uh, oh, Uncle, changed. Uh, Creative Accents is saying, Uncle, I drove electric Porsche Taycan for one month, and I hated it. Was my friend, and I gave it back. The electric car? The electric, yeah, that's that Porsche model that's like a, uh, it's like a SUV sort of thing. And oh. so I I want to say, I, I've seen them around our uh, parts out here in Southern California for sure. But uh, Creative Accent's not on board with it. Um, there is one thing that is better than gas. What's that? Anybody know? Uh, that runs quite a while. The ocean. No. In a car. Uh, that runs quite a while. The radio. No. Um, the the uh, I, I don't know. You stumped me. I'm not sure. The diesel. Diesel. And let me tell you, it take two weeks to empty that baby out. <laughs> <clears throat> it's all about the diesel cars. That's what. That's what you're. You, you you should start the Uncle Diesel Automotive Company would be good. Uh, well, that would that would solve the problem of have to go to the gas station every what other week, like on your truck. So good. If you had if you had a diesel truck, yeah, you wouldn't be filling it. For example, you wouldn't be filling it uh-huh. every week. You get paid. Okay. Uh, you would have it when it's time to fill, fill. Two weeks, fill. I like the it sound of that. It won't have to go like one week here, one week there. I know because that diesel holds it much better than the gas. Yeah, I okay. Well, I And mean, even though my sisters don't believe me. I did have a Chevy diesel. Oh, it was a Chevrolet. It was a I Chevrolet did diesel car. Car. And that that's yeah, that's, that's quite, what I'm getting to. That's a very controversial topic around this house, whether right. you did or did not own a they, diesel. They, they car. just went around when I was driving them. Okay. When I was driving it. Uh-huh. That's what it is. <laughs> and they don't even remember. That's what it is. That's what the bottom line is. I can't parents say. Parents yeah. knew because they gave me. My parents knew because oh, your they parents gave you gave the diesel me car. Gave the diesel car. Uh-huh. Chevy car. Uh-huh. Um, and and I was driving that. And my other sister was in college mm-hmm. in Tallahassee. The other one, uh, I don't know, she was with. Dating someone else. So many uh, things going and, on at that time. And, and, and yeah, at the time. Well, well, that and explains was, it. That explains everything, Uncle. If everybody right. was so busy at the time, they would not have noticed you and what you were driving. What your right. your car exactly. would have been like. They wouldn't know exactly. you were driving. They were too busy. I know. I had a a a a um a purple car. I had that car. I had a truck. And then the big truck, <laughs> the big Chevy. Uncle, uh, Creative Accents is saying, I love diesel cars. I had a Peugeot 505. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but and how much time did you have to fill it? Well, Crazy. He's, I, I'm, I'm assuming he's uh, agreeing with you that it's good for that reason and so many others. He says he likes them. Mm-hmm. He's also saying that he wants you to fight Elon Musk. Uh, with swords at the mall. Oh, back to that again. You like that idea? Uh, well, we have idea. to get. Oh, I got a. I got one for him right here if he ever shows up. We gotta go to <laughs> pure, pure blades. Yeah, I have one. I know exactly what it is too. Yep. So if you steps anywhere in this house, get ready to stab. <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> last time my parents came to visit, I was telling them about the phenomenon of the mall sword shop, oh. and they they didn't seem to know 
what I was talking about. I'm like, when was the last time you went to the mall? And they were saying that it's it sounds like it's been a decade at least since my parents have been to a mall. I'm like, look, <laughs> if you go to any given mall, especially back in Pennsylvania, you go to one of those ones like in Camp Hill or something by Harrisburg, there's going to be a sword shop in that mall. And, and I was like, Mom, when did you go in there last? And she had said it was forever ago. I'm like, do me a favor. Get to that mall and see if there's a sword shop. I can almost and guarantee then, there will then be. And then call us up. <laughs> And if you've seen it, call us up and we'll go there for quality control to see if it's as good as pure blades. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, that's uh, no self-respecting malls without a sword shop today. That's what I say. Well, I'm still we're still trying to get to be in front of his uh, store to do a show, but. That oh yeah, part. yeah. We uh, maybe we'll try them again sometime, but we'll we'll just. See. I, I had talking to him. He, we did get the. I did get to talk to him. Yeah, we um, talked to but, the manager, but we never did get to the owner. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, we haven't been. Uh, hey, we haven't been in the mall for a while, so maybe we should go back. Oh, we got Sally Doll over at YouTube, Uncle. She's in the chat saying. How are there not more sword mall attacks? More attack? Yeah, you know how there's like mass shootings all the time. Why aren't people going? Actually, I remember there was, I think it was in L.A., there was a woman who had a sword and she was like going after people in the streets, right? I heard about that too. There There was a lady doing that. Yes, yes, there that was. was. Like this month, I want to say. The, uh, this month, this happened. It happened. Exactly what you're talking about. You they, these clowns come in the street. All right, I got a sword. Who wants to fight us? Dun, dun, dun. What the heck are you talking about, lady? I'm trying to turn this, do this crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. People seem to be like crazy going to do all this crazy stuff. You know why it happened, Uncle? Because L.A. is a democratically run city. Democratic like city. Oh yeah, they're lawless. People run around poking in each other with swords. It's it's a problem. It's a big problem, Uncle. Mm. You haven't heard about this? <laughs> I've heard about that one. I did not hear that one. Uh, I've I've heard a bit too much of it, so I'm sure somebody said that about the sword woman. I I don't even have to go looking at the internet to know that that's what happened. But let's see. Creative acts. Is- Creative Accidents is saying, Uncle, I had a system. I'd go flirt with ladies at truck stops, and they'd give me free diesel because my 12 gallons would be like a spill for an 18-wheeler. Yeah, hand them that, and you get a big gallon of diesel. That sounds good here. That's a good idea. When 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 does he have a diesel? Uh, well, he was saying that Peugeot he had uh, the the five hundred five or whatever, but that's uh, the French car. It was a French oh, car. Oh, oh. The French know how to make those diesel cars. Oh, yeah. Good ones. Um, well, I think they should be more of that kind of car and get rid of the gas <laughs> because the gas. You see the problems with the gas. It's fill up, up, fill up, up, fill up. It's constantly doing that. Yes, it does. It's that kind of rotation. It does that to you. And and then you yeah, say, hey, where's my check? In the gas pump. I mean, but if you had it in a diesel car now that had a diesel truck like that, you would have a little bit of cash in on you. I'm surprised that the politicians haven't glommed onto this idea of yours. Nobody's mentioned the diesel as the the solution to these high gas prices. Nobody says that. I know because they why. do not know. They don't. They do not know. They don't think. Oh. It's those people out there, like Chuck says, that doesn't think. Uh oh. That doesn't think. Well. And and, and you don't you have to think about that. You do have to think about that. About that, you have to think. You should. Yeah. They had ought to. I mean, ought to. Um, um, everything else, I guess. Forget it. Now, again, we are live, and you can call in to join us. The number is 319-527-5016. Skype Charles Dowichelli. Type to Chuck, and he'll bring you on. But, yeah, we're live. Um, 
Sally was laughing about the lot lizard left reference of uh, there's a phone call. Hold on that thought. Uh, That's on a different uh, who's this online. That's that's on a different. What's this? That's a whole different computer. We're in a room with two different computers. What the heck is that noise? I just heard a ding, ding, ding. Were you thrown off by that, Uncle? Wait, no, wait. Is that somebody online? Online? That was a ding, ding on another computer. The ding, ding on another computer. What the heck is that? That that was not my computer, Uncle. That's got nothing to do with me. Okay? Oh. I thought it was somebody online. It's getting me confused. Chuck wasn't responsible for that ding. However. I, I... I fixed it. There it is. There it is. I told you it was coming. <clears throat> I told you to pay attention, Chuck. There it coming. All right. We have a caller here. How yep. come unc- only Uncle heard my dings? I'm the one that heard it. And then I heard a thing on over here. And this ain't it wasn't the thing. No, the thing over there wasn't the thing. That's something else. But it just so happens. <laughs> yeah, so it happens. And it Jimmy, Jimmy made a ding. Line. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Jim. What do you want? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing good here. I uh, along your guys' line of thought, I didn't think there was anything. What's wrong with the hybrids? Don't you put in like a gallon of gas and it gets like a hundred miles a gallon? What's wrong with that? I guess. Oh, hybrid, hybrid hybrid vehicles. Yeah, they're they're good. Hybrids are. I don't think anybody's um, complaining about hybrids. I no, I'm not talking about the size of the car. I'm size of the just the plain gas. Yeah, but do you know do you know what a hybrid is, Uncle? It's something that kind of vehicle wise round in, <laughs> but with what in it? That's what well, I'm asking. Well, it, it's the gas. That's what I'm talking about. The fuel. A hybrid does have gas, but it also uses electric. So yes, it uses oh, it does? That's it the point. Well, yeah. let's drop it out then. That's Tell the... them to drop out that gas and then keep the electric on it. Well, okay, but there's the problem. See, he still needs well, the, the gas. Problem? He still what? needs the gas because the electric doesn't go that far, so you got both. So this way oh, you don't yeah. use so much gas. Yeah, it's, it's a go-between, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. See? That's true. Because wait a minute. I, I I should take that back. There was a car. There was a truck. <laughs> a truck someone had and had two gallons. Two gallons. Two, um, two, um, two tanks. Two, two tanks, right. Yeah. And if one went off, uh-oh. I have to switch the other one. Yeah, Swing but that's, that on, and then they have to change. Yeah, but that's, that uh, that is that is more mm-hmm. like get there and get back. That I can understand. Yeah, but that's two gas tanks, Uncle. Look, but uh, that's see, two gas tanks. I got it. This was what the problem was. Why Uncle was saying what he was saying. Yeah, okay, so imagine you ain't got two gas tanks. You got a gas tank and an electric tank, basically, right? So you got both. But what you do is the electric tank only goes so far, so maybe you need the gas to get back to the electric place. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's true. There you go. So now you're getting it, and that's a hybrid. I understand what Jimmy was saying. Now I see what you're saying, Jimmy. That's a hybrid, Uncle. So that's all it was. Uncle was just misunderstanding. He's thinking a hybrid's a problem. No, no, no. The hybrid is you got both. So this way, you know, your battery dies, uh, you're not stuck. Oh, no, what do I do now, right? No electrical thing by. No, you can use the gas to go get to the battery and charge it again. See? Mm. Do they actually have those? Yeah, that's the thing. That That's part of what they're talking about when they say a hybrid. What, are they, what is the most popular hybrid? What do they call that? It's a Toyota. Uh, the Pri- Prius. The Prius. The Prius. That was the yeah. first and most popular still. Yes. The Prius. Well, so maybe popular. that's the problem that must don't understand that um, he needs to build hybrids not just full dedicated evs yeah, yeah he's well, getting the hybrid kick he was supposed well, to do that i don't know what he ended up delivering see that's the whole thing with him you know he, he promises cars you go buy a car from this guy and he's got to build it <laughs> oh, they build that's them? the other yeah not kidding check it out you see he didn't make all his deliveries he, people sold teslas and they're going hey where's my car yeah. they, they didn't make yeah. it yet you see, he sells them before they're even made, this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like DeLorean. What's that? John DeLorean. Yeah, like DeLorean, DeLorean did, where he had he had like a thousand sales and he only had like ten cars. Right. That was funny, where, where he had that. Now those are massive collector's items, but anyway. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I want to help Uncle out, though. A hybrid is you got both, Uncle. That's what you got to remember. Oh. Okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And well, that may be that may work. That could work. It could work that way if you think of it that direction. And then, Uncle, in the chat, Creative Accidents is bringing up the concept of old Mercedes diesel cars that have been converted to run off of vegetable oil. He's asking if you've ever been behind an old Mercedes that smelled like French fries. Oh no, no. That's what it is. It's one that I, I have heard of that. I, yeah, I have heard of it too, but no. It's I pretty cool. Have, yeah. I am. It's pretty cool but, that you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it though. So you can get like as far as I know, you can get the used oil from like fryers from a restaurant. Well, yeah. And then you take it and somehow I don't know if you have to refine it or change it or what, but you use it as fuel. I would your think you have to be change it to you have, get it. You have to clean it. I'm uh, sure. I would clean it and clean it minimum. out a minimum to make sure it fits in the tank and works right in the tank. Yeah, it doesn't have debris With, that's going to cause right. problems in all. That's lines. probably what you have to do. Yeah. I have heard of that. I, I, it would be cool to do that. It would be really – I mean it would be bragging rights. Is like, yeah, I'd convert my old car to run off of fryer oil. That would be really cool. And you know why the rich always want to get richer? Why they want to? to yeah, we know why they want to, yeah. Oil. Oh, uh-oh. That's why. Fryer oil? I do want. They want all the fryer oil. Okay. Because your oil makes the thing fly up in the air. I remember those cowboy pictures. I'm uh, just back in the day, watching those watching those cowboy pictures, mm-hmm. where they were taking an, hey, let's get this oil started, get this uh thing working. There come a bunch of oil up this thing. Yeah. That's, that happened. That's an interesting theme for the old westerns old to Western play around too. with. Because, right, right. Yeah, you've now got, that's what I'm just saying. You've got that mix of the old wild west that was untamed right. with this new coming in and exploitation of the land, pulling out the resources in order to build a new civilization on top of an unnatural order on top of the natural world by extracting nature's gold from out of it. But a lot of things you can play around with thematically um, that way. I saw some kind of show like that. And they say, Watch out for that oil come up. Let's go back to the oil thing. People trying to get oil up in the air and those coals flying all over the place. Creative Accidents is saying uh, Beverly Hillbillies, Uncle Jed. Oh, yeah, that one. Him too. Him too, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Uncle Jed. <clears throat> Uncle Jed knows what he was There's talking about. Does, it, does anyone remember? I remember watching this silent film from like 100 years ago about that oil guy, Bird, from Dallas. So now I can't ever find it. Has anyone else seen that? About how he comes and steals their land and basically forces them to sell it and then opens up his big oil business. And it was a real silent movie from like hundreds of years ago. Bird from Dallas, you said? Bird from Dallas. Yeah, yeah, you you remember? Yeah, no, Hunt, Hunt, I'm sorry. Oh, Hunt. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Hunt. No, there's a lot of stuff on Hunt. Yes, uh, but I don't, I don't recall that one specifically. But I can look. See, I got that burn in my head. I'm pretty sure it's on one of the, like they showed part of it on one of those, uh, the Man Who Killed Kennedy series. And it, there's apparently a real hundred year old silent film out there. There's about that guy Hunt. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. If you're looking for the stuff they used on the men who killed Kennedy, that's in the another thing. That's on uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, evidence of revision. They put it in where they have the silent film with the music behind it. They have a music track, like a piano track oh. behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder I could never find it. That's why. Look, look no under. No wonder I could Right. If you want to find the clip that that you saw, it's on it's on the movie series Evidence of Revision, and I think it's on part three where they say uh, uh, LBJ and the Oil Men or something is the title. So ev- I knew I've seen that somewhere, but now I try to find it and I can never find it. Well, Sorry, you, go ahead. But at least you could find that piece there, and then maybe you could track it down from there. I know where the I know where that's from. I have a list somewhere of where all that stuff comes from, origin-wise, because I studied it. But, uh, but I don't 
recall off the top of my head exactly where that clip comes from, but it is an old clip. Yeah, and it was a silent film, and then they put the piano music under it, but initially there was no soundtrack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, I was just helping Jimmy with that real fast since he asked about uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, well, we got to the bottom of that one, Uncle. Well, we got to the bottom of that. All right. So, what else does everybody want to talk about? <laughs> I'm getting right up here. Anybody could talk and say anything they want. You may yeah. call in. We're live streaming again through a nine five two seven five zero one six. We have Jimmy here now. What do you want to talk about, Jimmy? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Uh, at this point, even though we haven't heard from him in a long time, I'm totally convinced that Jet Pack Man was Elon Musk. Any thoughts? <laughs> Hmm, jetpack man. Uncle, do you know that guy? Pack man? Yeah, he, he had a jetpack. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk okay. uh yes, I I actually saw that dude going up in a, going up in the sky and come back down. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, did you see that guy? Yeah, yeah. And That's I, LA, LA yeah. he went up in the air and then all of a sudden Hey, come back down. Mm, landing somewhere. I don't know where this play card was flying. All right, where he's landing to. Everybody loves that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got Green Seed over at YouTube now. Green Seed? Yeah, he's liking Jimmy's audio. He says it sounds good. Oh. So that's good. So we got all kinds of people in the chat. This is good. We're getting a lot of people on the live stream, Uncle. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on X. Oh, boy. How was how was the out of state uh, people listening there, oh, Chuck? Yeah, yeah. What about the German uh, German people pub? What pub. are they doing? Chuck? What are they, what doing they been up to? What have they been up to? We need updates. Yeah, let me double yeah. check that right now for you. I wasn't looking at it because I was uh, arguing with people in the chat room and uh, having a <laughs> private argument with a jerk. So uh, you now owe me I'm ten bucks. You now owe me ten bucks, my friend, because the guy swore to me ten bucks if you could prove that. And I, there it is. There's your link. Okay, Ooh, John. John T. John. You owe me ten bucks, oh. Chief, since you're gonna annoy the hell out of me while I'm trying to produce. Oh, it owes you ten dollars. Wow. Yeah, oh, gosh. On, oh it's, this is a podcast host? This John T? Yeah, he said on oh. his podcast, and then he was just harassing me in the room, and I realized who it is. you you never been on Coach to Coach JM. I said, I did it once. No, you didn't. Oh, there's your link. There we go. The proof. Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely were, Chuck. There's, I mean, yeah, I would... Yeah. Why would you lie about that? I don't know. I have no idea. It's a stupid thing. Anyways, uh, looks like tonight, Uncle, international yeah. listeners are low. You uh, mm-hmm. only have you have Canada in a few spots, though. Mm-hmm. More Canadian listeners than usual. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Toronto and two unidentified Canada. And three three unidentified Canada, different addresses. They don't tell me where they are. It's like the ones from the USA now. Uh, so USA and Canada do the same thing. One says Toronto. The one identifies the city. And three, one, two, well, three. Well, Aaron three and Chuck went in the traffic be interrupted in the United Kingdom. Aren't they having like all kinds of unrest over there? Well, I don't know, but we have no UK listeners, no European listeners tonight at all, and that's unusual no. for us. We usually have. Well, it's usual because they usually on the pool when they come to my. My podcast. I mean, maybe it's it's, it's yeah. odd too because our numbers look low on my like my stream uh, software. However, we're getting a lot of engagement in the chat, which is kind of odd to have those two things at the same time. Yeah, that doesn't normally happen exactly. But we are doing something. Wait, we're doing a string of Friday night shows. We are. I have noticing. We are. And I think that might be bringing them. Um, Sort of lay away for a little bit because of that 
wasn't doing. And I think that's the reason I think we don't have the listeners or the oh, callers. Well, also, Plus, Chuck, Chuck, I was Chuck, off all uh, week. Yeah, Green, all Green week. Seed is saying he might be he might be on Skype. Is he there on Skype? He's saying that you won't call a bid, but he made a joke about it, so he's, he might not be on there at all. Because uh, he didn't ask. Silly. He sent me a crazy picture, but he didn't ask to be added in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, wait, he, wait, wait. he said because he sent the weird chicken picture that you won't call him in. That's no, I didn't see picture. this up up top there above the weird picture that startled me literally. It looks. <laughs> I'll put the picture in the chat room and tell you why. I had this thing pop up real big and I was like, what the? Heck? You know, uh, weird picture here. I'll put it in the chat room. You tell me if this wouldn't make you go what and throw you off for a second. Uh, yeah, that's what he put in the chat room in the in the skype chat excuse me but i'll call him in yeah i just didn't see at the top he said uh hi chuck uh, call me in but i call i'll call in but i didn't see that because i saw this crazy picture and i was like <laughs> too distracting yeah. too distracting uh, yeah, you get distra- i can understand how can you, you can't understand you can't that. do you can't that distract yeah. it. So keep, I, your, keep your eyes on the prize which is calling in and talking to uncle i thought he just yeah, wanted no, no. to send me a weird picture so i didn't think he was trying to call in uh, my mistake sorry about that mm-hmm. i'll get him right now yeah, yeah. Uh, Chicken Gate, he's calling this. Oh, gosh. we've, all, we've Let all, me hear this guy, too. we got a whole new gate on our hands now, Uncle. That's well, let's have this conversation. I, oh, yeah. I'm in for a conversation. Well, I'm getting Some... him. I'm getting him. You got Jimmy, and now you got uh, now you got the addition from uh, Canada here. Coming into the... Uh... Coming in hot. There we go. In the meantime, here's a random fact. Oh. Uh, Bogey was the 13th pick. For Casablanca, imagine that. Thirteen pick. Whoa. Dang. Bogart. They had twelve other people before him. Okay. I did not know that. That movie would have never worked out without that guy. Just imagine Casablanca meaning nothing. Dang. Film history, Uncle. Right. As of as as of right now on the Ocelli stream, there's only 15 total listeners. Okay, so there's other listeners on YouTube and Twitch and all that, but there's only 15 listeners on the Ocelli stream right now. Just so you know. Yeah, and and by by my numbers that I'm being given, Chuck, there's not that many on the live streams. So I I, who knows? Who knows what? I don't know if I ever can even trust these things. But I don't see anybody from Europe, and I'll tell you something else. We usually have a couple of listeners from Australia, and they're not there either. So I don't know what's going on. Mm. That's because they're protesting there, too. I think there's big to-dos going on over there, but our news never talks about it. That's a possibility. Got a point there, Jimmy. Yeah. That that could be what's happening. Uh, Robin, are they protesting on the streets of Canada? Now? Yeah. They... You know, there's been a lot of crows in my neighborhood. Crows? But uh, I think that's just because they have a roost nearby, and uh, it's that time of year to do that roosting. Hmm. The crows have come home to roost, Uncle. It's it's the it's prophecy that time that's of true. The year because the, the it's year. like is what his name's like it's squirrels. It's the same thing. The crows, crows, crows up in Canada. Yeah. Uh, you know, other than that, though, it's pretty calm in the streets. So as but, uh, I, I got to make a comment though, Jimmy's uh, Jimmy's audio the best it's ever been. Jimmy, good job. Cool. Good job. Oh, you've been fixing it. So Jimmy's audio oh, yeah, is working is. as the crow flies and the squirrel crawls, yeah? Okay. Go <laughs> straight, yeah. I don't know what's happened there, but... That seemed very interesting. We now have 17 listeners yeah. on the Ocelli.com stream, just so you know. It's Canadians, wow. today. that's good to hear. Fellow Canadians, hey. hello. Canadians are finally, finally understanding it's... My owl came up. Now they finally found the owl. That's what it was. Hey, Uncle, have you ever watched the Red Green show of Canadian fame? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. They used to play that on PBS. The Red lot. Green the show? Yeah. Red Green. Yeah. Is that Red a show green. in Canada, Red Green, Robin? Yeah, oh, yeah, that was big. That was big when I was a teenager. Oh, cool. That's one of the ones on the rabbit ears. I see that. Yeah, he's he's the guy with the beard, and he's got like a fishing hat. He lives in a cabin. Oh yes, or yes, yes, yes. Right? Is that right? And everything. Yeah, done. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I need to see that. You're right. You're right. 
Can I ask no. a question about uh, about the situation there? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious how this 3D printing is going on these days. Oh, I've been doing a lot of it. I just printed up a bottle holder last night. Bottle holder? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to oh. attach it to a magnet. What? It's my own custom okay. bottle holder I made. Well, I mean, I, it's somebody else's design, but uh, we've been doing a lot of 3D printing. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah, I know I can you're in- say, I, I can say I can I can relate to Uncle's um, issues with the sound mm. because uh, because I've had to modify my printing schedules to not disturb my sleep. Oh, oh! Did you hear it last night, Uncle? It was going last night. Could you hear it? At the first time, I didn't hear a thing. Oh, there we go. So, well, uh, what was it that did it uh, was controlling? I don't know because I had it on in the night. So you you should have. I don't know what the difference was. Now, a little tip you can do it that way if I don't hear it. Okay. And That's whatever true. that was did it. You can do it. We that might way. have moved it from where it was before. I'm thinking by a little bit. Maybe, Maybe that's what did it. Maybe that's what it had to do to. Because what I hear, if it's loud, loud, loud. <laughs> Them damn walls you can go you can hear right through my walls. An example I mean, of what the sound with the sound and, and the noise and, and it and it and it 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 shakes the top it shakes the top to come down to see. my walls <laughs> when it was on. Like, like, <laughs> those type of sounds? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. What the heck is that noise going up there? Turn that noise up up there. Like a bunch of been mosquitoes trying, having a car. Wait, wait. I need to, I need <laughs> to sleep, and then I've got all this noise. But but I I, a, what you ever did there, it was fine if you can keep it away. Have you, you had uh, it. I don't know. Have I you had any it. cool shit for yourself, Uncle? Huh? Have Do you what? have, like, any cool uh, hats or anything? Or did Aaron print you anything cool yet? No, not yet. Uh, His son is gonna be a uh, a head of uh, of uh, of a wrestler. Oh, Dwayne the Croc Johnson, Croc Arm. Jumps. Oh. I was gonna ask. He said he was going to do. You familiar hasn't... with that design, Robin? You familiar know with that? Of, of, yeah, Rock Johnson modifications. There, we got we got the Rock the Puss. We got some other things. Yeah, I, and he's there, thinking of making me. There's I a croc charm. Get yes. Them croc charms. Croc Johnson. And, you know, was gonna. You know, see. Speaking when of I, crocs, people have printed their own crocs. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, well that that's Jeez. what the people do when they they look at these. And I looked in it in on it here when he was looking at them, and I said, uh, "Hey, pick this one." I I gone through with him and said, okay. "He's got a few." That he can do because of what I asked him for That's the clock charms to do. do, do, uh, do you are inside then. You, you make your own 3D models, right, Robin, to print? Yeah, I've, I've been working the year learning some of those things, and uh, I've made I've made a few custom custom jobbies. Do, do you use Blender? What do you use? I have used Blender a bit for more like the sculpting. I'm actually planning on getting a new computer soon to be able to do more elaborate sculpting. But uh, then that Fusion 360 is another one that's more like the CAD style where you're doing more precise things. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good for like the engineering little like mechanical parts and whatnot if you need them. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's good 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 to hear you're still uh, still rocking at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good time. The so, kids like it. It's so you. Uh, and do it too? Yeah. Yeah, I've had it for about a year now. And oh. I actually just recently got the color the color changing option working. So now I can do five different colors. Oh wow. That's crazy. crazy. Oh. And uh, right now I'm I'm doing a sheep with uh silver silver wool and uh black head and feet. Cool. Just to, to do a little more testing here. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. The multicolor ones are awesome. I, Creative oh. Accents is saying that we should make an Uncle Bobblehead. I actually had considered that? doing that. Bobblehead? An Uncle Bobblehead. No, I, I considered I, doing that. You know that what's funny? Would, I was just, I was just talking about Funko that? Pops. I'll put that on my shoe. <laughs> I, I, I was just I was just talking about Funko Pops. 
Aaron, yeah. what do you think about a Funko Pop instead of a bobblehead? Because I love those. Well, well, those are proprietary. We we could do something that's similar to it in no, the style of. They but have, you couldn't call it a Funko Pop. Yeah, they yeah. have a couple of them. There's one called uh, Mugs or whatever, and there's a there's a couple of ones that are you know knockoff. Some would be great. <laughs> the yeah. uncle, the, the uncle, uncle, almost Uncle-o-pop. Funko Pop. The Uncle O'Pop. Uh, <laughs> is, is, is have Aaron sit in, I mean, sorry, have Uncle sit in like a swivel chair and set up your phone uh, on a mount and then use one of those scanning programs. Ah. You actually have a, a 3D scan model of Uncle's head. And, actually, uh, and you then can take it from here. Something else. Actually, you can take what it from about, here. What about, what about an Uncle poster that... Uh oh! Sounds like Jimmy cut oh, off. Did we lose Jimmy? Yeah, that's a bummer. That sucks. He was in the middle of something good. There. You know what? I saw a Lee Harvey Oswald bobblehead recently, and I was pissed because I, I I almost got it on eBay. <laughs> hey, um, and why I, don't we yeah. copy one here, Fonz? But a bobblehead. We can copy a, this. You talking about copy your head on here, and then we can make oh the backdrop, the backdrop side. Yeah, a bobblehead. Or, we can do it here. Well, that's the art for the box, Uncle, but you need an actual, like, head. You need an uncle head, a really good uncle head, to either put on a, a, a Funko Pop style, you know, figure, like an action figure, or, uh, you know, because the, the, the mugs, the mighty mugs or whatever, they actually have movable arms and stuff. Um, so it would be like a weird little action figure or a bobblehead. One or the other would be great. Yeah. Yeah, I could see a bobblehead. All you need to do is make the body part, make the head part, and then attach oh. it with a spring. Oh. I mean, Aaron, no, no offense, Aaron, but you are yeah. you are custom made for for a bobblehead or a Funko Pop. You would be perfect as one of those two things. So I'd love to see the both of you, like the pair. It would be perfect. <laughs> hey, yeah, put both of us on the thing. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I want to get into the the 3D modeling. I want to learn Blender and start making my own designs. Ooh. So maybe we'll now, see. Phase Shifters mentioned something in the chat that based on. Robin's earlier work with the skulls, which I love. I wish I could have afforded a set of those things. Um, you know, he says uh, an Uncle Bust would be tremendous. I know Face Shifter Bust. could make an Uncle Bust. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Bust. A little bust like the Ludwig von Beethoven one that uh, oh. didn't the, the Rolf Muppets uh, character have one on his piano or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember that. Right. Or Batman had one where he, where he pulled the head back. And he pressed uh, yeah. the button for the back cave in the sixties. Mm-hmm. I've I've printed a Frank Zappa one. Nice. For a friend of oh, cool. Zappa. But yeah, if you're able to do it at, at some point, Aaron, do a scan like that, then uh then I'd be happy to, to do some modifying and and take it from there. But And take a look at my uh take a look at my uh um what do you call it, my Skype icon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a bus. That's that a thing bus. Is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an AI uh, a recreation of me as a bust. Yeah. If now if that image, I don't know who made that or what it is, but if it's an actual 3D CGI image, you should be able to make a printer file out of it and 3D print that. Chuck, you should ask the person who made that to see if they can get yeah. like an STL file or something from it. Well, I'll ask. I don't know what you know. But uh, I, I get yeah I get oh, pieces of artwork. The one who one who to ask you might get something out of it. Yeah. You no, know? like I love the the absolutely awesome art that Robin gives uh, both of you guys and sometimes me on on uh, on Twitter on X whatever. Uh, it's it's great stuff. Oh yeah, like the Ocelli Shack. That thing is perfect. The Ocelli dot <laughs> com Shack, right? Oh, right. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm using yeah the desert imagery that you made for us. We're live streaming that right now. The Age of Transitions images. There we go. Oh, where's that one with yeah. the highway? He made like a highway with the Age of Transitions. Yep. Oh, oh, good. It's up there now. Cool, cool. Okay. Thanks. That one there. That right there. Yeah, big yeah. shout out. Robin does some cool stuff. Uh, just even the stuff he does for us, like on the fly, is great. I mean, I can't even imagine some of the other cool stuff he's probably doing art-wise. So, check out, check it out on. Uh, what, what's your Twitter handle again? Uh, broken rib. Broken rib. Broken right. Rib. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And then I really post too much stuff on there these days in terms of art, but mm. on occasion. Do you put it on Instagram a- or anything like that? Uh, I do have a, a page for my more like my stone carvings and uh, 
and some other 3D printed stuff at uh, R U N G E R Art. Mm. Is, the, uh, is the page there if anyone wants to check that out? So at R Unger Art, R U N G E R Art. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Cool. And I want people to check it out because uh, it's good stuff. Anyways, uh, all right. I'll shut up now because you guys got about, uh, I don't know, at most probably uh, uh, 10 minutes that we didn't, you know, run over your time and all that. So go ahead. All right. Well, uh, I'm seeing as how we're at the end of the show, we do have callers. Why don't we just shift into shout outs right now? How about well, that? Jimmy's gone. Uh, you only have Robin right now. Oh. Uh, we, I think we he, lost connection. Yeah, he oh, disconnected or something. Yeah, I don't know what oh, happened there. I didn't disconnect him, though. Oh. I think oh, he only gets, he only let's gets, get a shout out then. He only gets five minutes from his jail cell. <laughs> five minutes from his jail cell. That's right. I wonder if he's single. If he's yeah. single? Yeah. I'm just curious. Oh, and also, before we do shout outs, I'll say since we have so many people in the chat room Creative Accent, Sally Doll. You were in there a minute uh, ago, Robin, and I'll I'll shift over to the Ocelli.com chat, too. If anybody wants to give shout-outs in the chat room, I'll pull them up on the live stream so people can see. So be sure to shout-out there. You see the chicken there? <laughs> I see the link to it. I haven't seen the actual naked chicken yet. I might have to check that out later if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh... Oh, by the way, did he have a call? That chicken sign? It's oh, chicken. is this him? Oh, wait a minute. You told me. This it's is not. him. It reminds me of the Muppets again. This is like Gonzo, the character that was... Oh, yeah, yeah. He was always Gonzo. sexually attracted to chickens for some reason. Well, yeah, it reminds yeah, me yeah, of yeah. that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I remember <laughs> that. That was always hilarious. Yeah, he's so, going nuts, that guy. Uh, that was really funny. <laughs> but anyway, um, Robin, who you got a shout out to? Well, you know, I, I already did earlier at preemptive, but I'll shout out again to all the Canadian listeners there. Mm. Keep, keep it, keep it Canuck, keep it Canuck out there. Keep it Canuck. Call in, call in time. <laughs> all right, Robin, it's, it's great time. to have you, man. It's great to have you. Call back anytime. We love having you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the 3D print update. There, it's good to know. It's not bothering Uncle anymore. Mm. Yeah, no, it isn't. That's a place. I didn't even know it was on. <laughs> That's how I went. Not That's here. What, so you want it to be. All right. I don't All know right, how well, we did it. He did it. All right. We'll see you next time, Robin. See you Take next, it easy, next time. Next week or whatever. Okay. So there was Robin. Let's see. Uh, any... I don't see... Oh, shout out to Uncle who makes it fun for us, Creative Accent says. Oh. oh I just know. thought he was a chick magnet. Oh, uh, Gonzo? The, oh uh, no, that's the guy I, from uh, streets. Uh, the streets from the streets. The guy from the streets. The guy from the streets. Um, crazy accidents. <clears throat> oh yeah, the street team. He's like the leader of that. Yeah. Um, street team. Uncle, do you have a shout out? Uh, shout out to everybody that had listened and um, got a few that uh, out of uh, country and and you all in the chat room. And everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And shout out again to Robin yeah, R. Unger Arts on Instagram. Press the button there for him, our friend. Do press the button on Instagram for Robin. Press the button for Ad Uncle Podcast. Yeah, Uncle and Podcast, push that button. You'll get some more actions and talk. Shout out to anybody who actually is retweeting on X the live stream. That's going to help if when on these Friday nights. I'm gonna put. It's gonna go out through my X account. Excellent. I'm gonna repost it through Uncle uh, Chuck. Repost it through his. If you can retweet it, repost it, whatever we call it now. If you can do that, that's gonna help. So thank you. Shout out to you doing that. Anybody yeah. doing that? Um, yeah, we're live on Ocelli Radio. Uh, Ocelli.com every Friday. Uh, oh, Uncle, we should be doing. Another live stream tomorrow, Saturday. I don't know what time of the day. I don't have a schedule for this. It's just sometime in the morning or afternoon. We'll probably do a VHS watch party. Oh, oh. Anybody? Matter of fact, talking about the watch parties. Mm -hmm. Anybody seen it last week? Oh, they missed it. It was a good one. They missed it. You should have been watched that one. Nobody was live with us in the chat room. They they missed. They missed a good one. They missed. 
And the first Pop one guns. he uh, the first one he rated excellent on for you people. This was really good. First time I ever heard him do an excellent one. That's crazy. But you can watch you can watch us uh, you can watch that stream. It's on the YouTube channel still. It's yeah. again at Uncle Podcast YouTube Twitch uh, Instagram UncleThePodcast.com. Um, live every Friday. Live tomorrow. We'll watch another crazy VHS tape because we still have a few left from the thrift store. We love it. Please watch with us. It makes it better when we have everybody there watching with us. Yeah, what was it?